I have this friend that lives not that close to me. He lives in another town called Haslev from Slagel. So to Haslev there is quite a bit of distance. But we make it work in our modern world where we can talk on video. We can well, see each other quite often online. What about offline? What about in the real world? What about when we have to do some activities together? Well, we make it work and actually quite often. And I'll dive right into how we make it work right after I have said hello to my fellow Game of Life people and to all your new ones. This is not just a workout. My name is Martin. This is a channel where we talk about everything Game of Life related. For me and my friend, there are of course several ways we can get from A to B where we can visit each other. He is very car dependent because of his work. He is required to drive around so he has of course a car and he drives it to me. But I don't have a car so how do I get for them back? Well let's start with the car. The car the car trip is 53 kilometers, which is an okay car trip. In Denmark it will take around 45 minutes according to Google with the current speed limit. So it is not that far away, 45 minutes, it's no problem. It's easy to drive, there's not that much traffic, it's highway half the way. I actually believe it's more than half the way, it's highway. So it goes relatively fast and there is no stops, there is Maybe a little traffic once you get into Slales or Ringstead, which is the two big cities, but that's not much. I have never heard him being stuck in traffic because he doesn't drive in rush hour, and even if he did, he wouldn't be really stuck. So of course it's easy and he takes the car, but me, I don't have a car. Well, I could start by walking. Walking will take, according to Google, 10 hours. Seriously, 10 hours. Of course I don't walk. I have actually consider doing it but then I think about it and it's 10 hours of walk out of a boring road. No, I will not walk for 10 hours out of a boring road. That leaves me with two options. The first one is taking the bike. The bike is actually quite good to take out there. I do it in the summertime. It takes around two hours according to Google. It is two hours 26 minutes but since I have an e-bike I can save a bit of time. If I am up and then two hours 26 minutes is because I take the scenic route. And in the summer when I'm off duty, 2 hours, 26 minutes, that's nothing. And I even drive home and in the summertime the sun is up all night almost, so it is not getting real dark, so it's fun to drive, it's relaxing. And well, I spend 4 hours driving forth and back all together, but I can actually do it a lot better. Because in Denmark we have a great public transport system. Yes, I can do it in... One hour, one minute. It's almost as fast as the car. One hour, one minute is 16 minutes slower than the car. Seriously, 16 minutes. It is 16 minutes I can spend reading a bit more. It's 16 minutes I can spend on watching another YouTube video. And the mobile signal is great all the way. So I can of course watch a lot of YouTube when I'm driving from A to B. At least when I'm going to him. The reason it is not faster is when I get to Ringstead I have to change to a bus. Alright, that's okay. I can change to a bus, but the bus drives out right as the train goes in, so I'm stuck in Racer for around 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. So most of the time I'm spent waiting, but they are about to remedy that, so I will get almost as close as the car, which is actually quite great, which also answers the question how I can have friends that lives far away from me, because the further away I go, I will see a less and less difference between taking the car and taking public transport because when you take the car you also need to hold the brakes and oh well so I have one long break instead of taking the car where I have to hold smoke brakes I have to hold coffee brakes I have to hold all these kind of brakes so I do live in a country where I can get more out of public transport and I can get even more out of public transport because I'm a nurse teacher at the hospital I teach new nurses how they well can do good nursing and they have to write assignments and when I'm taking the bus on the train I can read those assignments that way I get a little bit done while I'm taking the train whereas if I was taking the car I had to set aside one hour for reading those assignments anyway which means overall I save a lot of time if I don't have any things to do well I do a little of research to these videos I watch some other youtubers how do they do it I watch some inspirational content on the things I'm talking about and I do some digging into journals and into how is all this connected how does the public transport system in Denmark function how does the public transport system in the Netherlands function and that is how I spend a lot of 
quality time when I'm getting from A to B instead of just sitting there in the car watching the road being totally focused on the road not seeing anything else it is not that I spent 16 minutes more on transport it is that I spent 44 minutes less doing nothing productive and when you begin to look at it that way then public transport starts to become something good it starts to become something you can really get the most out of especially in a system like the Danish where you can easily transfer from one vehicle to the next and since I'm recording this in late 2022 I will next year in 2023 be going out physically showing you how easy it is to get around in Denmark and how easy it is to get around in Europe and might even go outside of Europe so make sure you click subscribe and that bell notification icon so you get notified when those videos come online and remember this year I'm having a Christmas calendar of 24 walkable places you should visit in Copenhagen yeah it's a Danish tradition and I will be talking much more about it later on and if you have clicked that bell notification icon you will be notified when I start to talk about that until next time keep raising your average health Bye-bye.